Well, I'm guilty as charged. I um, I wasted too much time um, thinking about work, not really worrying about, kind of planning, planning around um, events that so far have not played out this weekend. And it's on me. I'm not blaming anyone else. I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to follow these timelines or what people say. It's all on me. But um, and it's not necessarily bad to be aware. I, I I really don't think that's bad. But it's a waste of time. See, that time that I spent could have been used more resourcefully in other kinds of preparation. Number one, spiritual preparation. And it's all I keep talking about on this channel. You know, do you know why um, a lot of the really big channels, and I'm going to name just one, call for an uprising. And I'm not saying that he doesn't cover some important things. I think he does. But um, I don't like his introduction. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. But he does sometimes cover important things. He has a huge following, and he's always getting strikes. Okay, but that's because his content's all sensational. Now, he is a Christian, but why not sometimes put in a message? Why is it all sensational stuff? Why is it always getting the numbers up? You know, that I think these people will get a lot fewer strikes if they tried to focus on the essential things because they wouldn't even see that. They would overlook it. Um, they they just the algorithms are are all around the the sensational. I I'm sure of it. But bottom line is, I waste time when I could be drawing could have been drawing near to the Lord and getting my house in order, my, my spiritual house, cleaning house, and getting focused. See the thing is, what happens with me? It probably goes with you too, is all this information gets me off focus, you know. Okay, so it's going to happen at some point, but I keep realizing once I'm focusing, expecting things to happen, fortunately they don't. Fortunately they don't. we got to be honest, fortunately they don't. Because it's not going to help anyone. But I'm less prepared than I was before. When I was, you know... A week ago or a couple of weeks ago, totally avoiding the channels with all the the news and all the things coming. <clears throat> I was focused on the Lord. Then I got distracted. And you know what even happened? I fell into sin. Yeah. Because he doesn't like the Lord. The Lord is jealous. He, do, he wants us to pay attention to him. He really, really does. And when we don't, we start paying attention to other people and what they're, <coughs> they're saying. <coughs> he gets jealous. And sometimes he'll let us fall, <coughs> so we become humble and come running back to him. So I'm just saying, it was a waste of time, and I, I've learned my lesson. I will not go back to it. That does not mean I'm not totally aware that something can erupt at any time. But I'm kind of glad I don't know when it's going to happen for sure, because that way I can have some peace. And like I said just a minute ago, be close to the Lord. Where that's the only place I'm going to find refuge anyway. And that's the only place that I'm going to be safe. Not out there, you know, waiting for it to happen and looking for it to happen. It gets old, doesn't it? It, it gets old. <laughs>